The ATS and CTS may be going away, but don't think that means that Cadillac is giving up on sedans. This is the 2020 Cadillac CT5, which debuts at the New York Auto Show and will be on sale by the end of this year. That's quite a good looking car. To give you a sense of its proportions, it rides on a 116 inch wheelbase, which is about an inch and a half longer than the CTS's wheelbase and seven inches longer than the ATS's. That gives it a really good stance on the road. Andrew Smith, Cadillac's executive director for global design, said this car ushers in a new generation of aesthetic language for Cadillac. You can see straight away, for instance, that there are far fewer jagged edges and sharp creases than on the old ATS. You know, we've seen some other luxury makers, including BMW and Mercedes, soften their styling language a little bit, retreating a little bit from all the hard edges that we saw maybe four or five years ago. And it's clear that Cadillac's going in the same direction with the CT5. But even if it's using a cleaner, simpler design language, this car is still defined by a lot of very taut, sharp lines. That makes it look very modern and kind of light on its feet. And as we saw on some of the older sedans, Cadillac is really playing up its LED lighting technology. You can see how the running light goes all the way from the bottom of the fascia through the headlight and onto the front fender. The roofline has a really nice curve to it. It gives this car a very sleek, almost fastback-like profile, which I really like. One thing I like a little bit less is this trim piece here. It's meant to look like a window, but it's not. The back of the car looks quite good as well, especially because you get even more LED accent lighting in the taillights. There's also this very interesting 550T badge. Older Cadillacs used displacement badges for their engines, things like 3.6 or 2.0T. But going forward, Cadillacs are going to use this three-digit arrangement, which indicates the engine's torque output in Newton meters. Now, the idea is that whether you've got an electric powertrain or plug-in or turbocharged or whatever, you're going to be able to get a general sense of the engine's relative power output compared to other models in the range, but I think it remains to be seen what customers really think of this torque-based nomenclature. The CT5 is built on a version of General Motors' well-known Alpha platform, which was also used for the ATS and CTS, as well as for the Chevy Camaro. Now, based on my time behind the wheel of those, I'd say that bodes pretty well for the CT5 being pretty fun to drive. Engine choices comprise a 2.0-litre turbocharged four-cylinder and a 3.0-litre twin-turbo V6, both of which will be paired to a 10-speed automatic transmission, and you'll be able to get both rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive versions. When I get inside the CT5, what I notice straight away is that I've got a lot of real materials in here. Genuine wood and leather and metal trim for the speaker grills. It all looks and feels really great. And overall, I like the design of this car's dashboard. It's quite stylish and smart, but it's not too over the top or ostentatious. At the top of the dashboard, as you can see, we've got a big 10 inch touchscreen infotainment system running the familiar Q infotainment software. In addition to touching the screen, you can also operate it by using this little knob up here on the dashboard, or just like in the Cadillac XT4 and XT6 crossovers, using this rotary controller that's down here on the center console. In addition to all the standard active safety technology you'd expect in a modern luxury car, things like pre-collision braking and blind spot monitoring, the CT5 will be the second Cadillac to have Super Cruise. That's the company's semi-autonomous driving system that on certain pre-mapped highways lets you take your hands off the wheel so the computer can take over driving for a little while. Based on what we know so far, the Cadillac CT5 is gonna be fun to drive, packed with new technology and pretty luxurious both inside and out. We're really looking forward to getting a chance to drive this car later on this year. Until then, you can find more information on the 2020 Cadillac CT5, as well as all of the other debuts at the 2019 New York Auto Show at theroadshow.com.